Good morning. So I've been um, trying to get uh, uh, Wayland support and also auto expansion working um, on Snippet Bixi. But I've been working on my laptop and just kind of been doing it piecemeal uh, as, as I get time. But something else has come up um, that I need to sort out more uh, immediately. Um, and that is I need to move the Snippet Pixie website um, because where it's been hosted at the moment is uh, my plan is about to run out. Um, and so I need to, I can, I could just uh, pay up for another year so to get the custom domain and all that kind of stuff. But I think it's like an, a, an opportunity to put Snippet Pixie into source code um, rather than using where it is now, which is card.io, I think it is, which is great, really good stuff. But I want to move everything into source code and build the website from scratch. So um, I'm going to do this. I've been looking at what to use. So this is the website at the moment. Pretty simple. Um, and it's just... Uh, a little explanation of what Snippy Pixie is, a few screenshots, um, and then um, at the top, got just a button to a guide, which just basically just explains what a abbreviation is and how to use one. And then it's just got um, some info on placeholders, um, which can be a little bit uh, difficult for people to grasp. Um, and then it's just got the command line options. Um, so it's not a lot there. Um, it could do with a complete rewrite. Um, so I'm going to build just a placeholder um, to replace this um, and probably host it on um, source hub pages. Uh, and I'll probably start off using snippetpixie.org get that up and running and then if that works out okay um, as you can see at the moment it's just directed to my uh, fly.io test place at the moment but if that works out okay um, then I'll move the .com across to it um, and then I could just improve it later on I think I was just trying to decide what to use um, I was thinking of using Hugo um, but I think seeing as I'm using um, Svelte for the GUI for Snippet Pixie. Why not use Svelte Kit um, for the website? Um, and it seems to have got to the point where it's almost at 1.0. And um, they've just implemented a whole new load of changes to the way that all the routing is done and so on. So I think it's kind of getting to that point where you can maybe um, get away with there not being too many more changes coming on um, so yeah, it's a good opportunity to learn it again um, and I used to use Sapper um, in my earlier uh, videos I was using Sapper for the goal monitor um, site which I eventually decided not to do um, and this is basically the successor to um, Sapper and it's basically svelte on a front end but with um, file-based routing, effectively, um, which means that it also has um, an optional, I guess, although it's by default on uh, back-end service, which is all sort of node, um, so that you can do a server-rendered um, HTML, um, so it's there instantly without having to be rendered on the on the browser um, but for this simple site I could use the routing as a, just a means of scaffolding up the site but hopefully use what I think will work they've got a static adapter so that's the plan, uh, a Svelte kit site using the static adapter. Uh, so it just generates HTML, a bit like a static 
file generator, uh, site generator. Um, just get it up and running. Uh, just get something that I can tinker with. Um, so let's do it. Uh, so here we go. We've got npm creates felt latest my app. Well, it's not going to be my app. Uh, right. Um, that's fine. Let's just make sure everything's in place here. So clean. Uh, make sure. Yeah, so it's still clean. It's still definitely clean. I'll just do a get pull to make sure. All right, so we're definitely good there. All right, let's make this a bit bigger. Nope. Just a little bit. Um, right. So in here, uh, this is the base of the Snippet Pixie stuff, the new version. Uh, we have top level, we've got command and internal, and then obviously package as well. I think we'll just create... A site, I guess. Um, yeah, I mean, it's going to be docs and things as well, potentially, but that will be in the site. So let's call it site. So npm create svelte latest, it says, and I will do site and see what happens. No idea whether this is going to work or not. All right, need to install the following packages. Create Svelte next 167. Okay, to proceed. Yes. Just hit return on that. Welcome to Svelte Kit. This is beta software. I expect bugs and missing features. Okay. Problems open an issue, blah, blah, blah. Which Svelte app template? Oh, interesting. Svelte Kit demo app. Uh, interesting. A to-do list app showcasing some of the features. Library skeleton project. Bare bones scaffolding for your new Svelte library. Nope. Skeleton, bare bones scaffolding for your new Svelte Git app. Hmm. I'm tempted by the demo because I've not used Svelte Kit yet. I suppose I could get that up and running. Although that means it'll probably do a lot of back end stuff that I don't need. Because I'm te I'm going to do. Let's. Let's do bare bones. Um, although I really I've not done that demo and I'd kind of like to. No, let's 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 just do that. Right, add type check in with TypeScript. Uh, no, I'm gonna keep this simple and just do JavaScript. I think I haven't really got the time to start mucking about with TypeScript. I haven't done any. And I don't want anyone want to start mucking about with that, so I say no. Add ES lint. Uh, I'll say no. Add prettier for code formatting. No, I don't need that because I'm going to be using an IDE. Add playwright for browser testing. Hmm. 
I think for this simple site, no. I think these are all things I'm going to have to muck about with later on when I have a more in-depth look at SvelteKit, because these are all things I would like to use. But for the moment, I just want a quick static site. So let's say no. Your project is ready. Install GitHub. Blah, 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 blah. Right, so next steps. CD into the site. NPM install. And then do the git stuff. Okay. And then NPM run dev. Open. All right. So that's the one thing that is a little different there. All right, let's try this then. So CD into site. NPM install. Oh, hold on. Before we do that, let's look at the package. Okay, that's good. It's all dev dependencies. That's exactly what I want. I don't want it to be uh, runtime. I think that's an older version of Svelte there, though. So I may have to do an up at some point there. Um, but that's a newish version of Beats, though. Okay, npm install. We'll go for that. Mm -hmm. Override in peer dependency. Found beat. Wow. Okay, could not resolve dependency period. Okay. Hmm. Let's do npm up save. This could break it all. No, it's still the same issues, okay. Hmm. Well, it's only a warning. We'll see. Let's see what we got. So our roots and we've got a page. Okay, let's just run it and see what we've got and then we'll open up the ID and uh, have a play. So npm run dev open so presumably this is going to ping up in my browser welcome to svelkit okay yep been there okay localhost 5173 that's good Let's see what we got code wise. Close that. Huh? Right. All right. Let's clean all these up. And Refresh this. So in the site, it's 
Let's have a look at the config. The Vite. Okay. And Svelte itself. Okay, so it's mixing a bit of TypeScript type stuff in there. Yeah, so I'm going to probably want to do that. Go to the adapters in a minute. We'll look at that in a bit. Okay, not sure how that's installed. Um, and this is still okay. All right, I've updated Svelte there, that's good. Uh, but that's, that's probably where the um, dependency changes are. Off. Okay, forgotten static. Okay, just a spell icon. Um, and in the roots we have in the HTML. Okay, so we just have a head with basic info there. All right, okay, it's felt kit assets. Interesting. So that's a new syntax I'm not, not aware of. It's felt kit head. All right, so this is obviously like property type stuff. Where does that come from then? Hmm. Interesting. Seems to be automatic. What have we got in the body? We've got welcome to Svelte Kit. Right, so that's that. So that's the page. Okay. Actually, I might as well leave it open. I might as well just start off by putting in a placeholder page. Um, which we can just iterate on. I just want to get something up and running quickly today. Um, and maybe even get it at least onto snippetpixie.org. Um, and then go from there. Okay, um, so let's go Mm. So the first thing I want to do is make sure I can build this. Um, and the adapters is the thing I need to look at. So in the readme, it mentions adapters. Okay, so out of the box, it already supports these 
straight away. But I'm not using any of those. And I'm not going to do a node server. I'm doing a static site. So, okay, most adapters will generate static HTML for any pre-renderable pages of your site. In some cases, your entire app might be pre-renderable. Yep, in the next case, you will be. In which case, you can use Svelte.js adapter static. to generate static HTML for all your pages. A fully static site can be hosted on a wide variety of platforms, including stack static hosts like GitHub pages or source heart pages, in my case. Uh, so, import adapter from Svelte. So where, how, what? Svelte config js okay so I just replaced that Okay, um, I don't know whether that applies to uh, source art pages or not, so I'll have to keep that in mind. Uh, but it looks like you have to be careful about slashes and uh, reroute into HTML. version uh, and what's this fallback stuff then uh, you can use adapter static to create a single page app or spa by specifying a fallback page in most situations this is not recommended it harms CEO tends to slow down perceived performance and makes your app inaccessible to users if JavaScript fails or is disabled. A pull-back page is an HTML page created by SvelteKit that loads your app and navigates to the correct route. For example, Surge, a static web host, Let's you add 200 HTML files that will handle any requests that don't correspond to static. Blah, blah, blah. You can create that file like so. Okay. Right, don't think I need that at the moment. Um, we will see. Okay, so all I need to do is replace adapter auto with adapter static. Um, in the Svelte config JS. Okay. And I don't know, do I need to update anything in the package for that? Mm. 
Oh yes, looks like it. Okay. Hmm. Is it the same syntax? Spell JS. Uh, okay. All right. Let's do that then. Uh, npm install save dev so js adapter static okay and now if i come back and have a look at package json we've got that in there and config understands it now and i can now remove this let's do it properly npm i think it's or is it uninstall it's uninstall isn't it uninstall search so adapt to auto don't know if that's a good idea or not, but we'll see. Okay, it's done the do. It's static, adapter, adapter. I think we're good there. Right, so in theory, I can do a run build and we'll get some sort of output somewhere. So at the moment, we've got that. NPM. Uh, that's a good point. Is that now dead? Yeah. When did I kill that? Huh. Uh, npm run build. Let's see. Yep. Okay. Right, config kit pre render default true. Config config kit pre-render true okay save rebuild okay power yeah. Config it pre-render should be an object. You what now? Why? How? What? Why would that be? Oh, pre-render default. Oops, missed it. Uh, okay. Okay. I missed the extra bit there. Right. 
right, okay. So it's done. Let's have a look what it's done. So it's building for production. Bundle for production, jam to transit, blah. Output. Run bit preview production build locally. Blah, blah, blah. Output client. Oops, site to build. Okay, so what have we got then? We do have build. Let's have a look in the IDE. So we have an index. It's got all the bits there. It's got a favicon, and then it's got all the app stuff. So can I just do then npm run preview was it just said yeah no it's a different different port okay What have we got then? All right, definitely got more stuff going on. Yeah. Okay. Let's uh, let's quickly add some bits and bobs to this then to make it usable. Also. Here's the real test. Let's make sure that it works. Um, kill that off. Now, will that kill it? Yeah, because we've got a port. But I should, in theory, be able to view the build directory. Uh, now, not sure if that lead in that extra thing there should be. Yeah, it's found it. Okay, there we go. That is working. That's exactly what I want. Okay, let me just double check, yeah. Hmm. Right, okay. That's interesting. Why is it not allowed? Because it's file based, maybe. That's fine. 
All right, let's get some. Uh, let's change this up a bit. Let's make it a little bit prettier. So, um, documentation. All right, we've done all this. Project structure, blah, blah, blah. Okay, this is interesting. So, I page to my there. Need to be. Svelte kit body, the markup for a rendered page. Typically, this lives inside, lives inside a div or other element rather than directly inside body. To print flags caused by browse extensions injected in there, right? Assets. Either paths dot assets. A specific a relative path. Okay, that's interesting. All right, I'm not really that interested in that. So what we are interested in is this. So at the, sorry, at the moment we've got a page um, at the root and it's just given us some HTML. But we want to give it a little bit of style um, and we kind of want a default style for everything so I'm going to use a layout Do I need to now? Probably not. That might be more useful for doing docs and things. I don't have any navigation yet. Hmm, this looks useful. Okay. Uh, maybe I should just build a page. And then for sub pages and things, I could add layouts that have unique subheadings and things. Hmm. Yeah.
Okay. Right, let's do that. Uh, so first things first, I need some assets. Um, and I don't know if I've even got a checkout for... Some stuff here, actually. I could just do it here, it's fine. Um, so in the site we have static. And it's just got the fabric on, okay. Um, what I'm going to do I'll make an image dark tree and then I've got a white pixie here. I haven't. Mm. Okay. So I'm going to grab current source for the old. Snippet Pixie, so I can grab the uh, SVGs for the icon. Um, The one I need most. So start with that. Uh, and we'll stick that in projects source heart snippet pixie nope. And Jones, a bit pixie. You can't see this now, probably behind my head. Uh, and I've got to remember where we are. Um, site static image and Snippet Pixie icon, I think, dot SVG. Should I? Yeah, I'm going to have two five six on it. So do I have fixed them up for the different sizes? So yeah, so let's let's grab them all. Because they will be useful. Uh, let's 
we got 64 And thirty two. Okay. Yeah, I just think if there's any more I need to take out. Don't think so at the moment. Oops. <laughs> Diamond has just kicked in because it's been a while, I think, since I've come out and back into this. And I've probably done updates. Well, there are updates. But anyway, that doesn't matter. Now, while that's doing its thing. So, we now have a few icons. Like this. And hopefully, what I can do something as simple as so when the current site, uh, wherever that is, there, I just have an icon above and then there name and your little expandable text snippets helper <laughs> very specific because that's all it does at the moment um never know might change uh let's stick that in there uh, and let's put an image in there and let's see oh ah, can I do this um, alright that's probably too big but anyway I'm not sure whether this will work. It depends on the format of the SVG. Um, uh, I should probably do preview. No. I have to build it first, do I? Interesting. Oh. Why?
Why would that fail? What's going on there? Hmm, should that be, let's just quick check here. That might be the case. No. Does it do the same thing when you do dev? Hmm, that's not why. Right, okay, at least now we can see what the deal is. It's a bit small. Could not load image. Hmm. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Right, instead of static image, use image. Oh. Of course. Static is taken away. So, uh, right, I'm going to start, I'm going to try without the leading thing but I think that might be wrong this might not work um, but we'll try that first oh here you go I didn't even have to refresh of course right that's way too big um, I might just switch that back down to the 128 um, I and mean, then I don't even have to resize it. But that is fine. Okay. Uh, let's try that. So. Oops, wrong thing. There it is. That's okay. Alrighty, um, so while we're here then, I'll just start it up a bit. Um, I wonder, can I, I don't know what, actually, you know what I've never done? I've never tried to style the component without having something to hang off, like a div. Before I just stick, I was going to just stick it in a div. Um, it 
is there something that says this is the component base? Can I do root? Like display flex. If this doesn't work, I'll just switch it to a div. This is just for fun, just because I've never done trying to style without having a wrapper. Um, and then yeah, so flex direction column. And then line items, yeah, center. Let's try that. Close, no cigar. That's interesting, though. Yeah, it's gone right to the root. Yeah, that's that's interesting that it's done that. That's good to know. But it's not what I want. Um Okay, now I don't know. I shouldn't really target that div. Okay, maybe I should do a layout and then put this in the slot. Although I'm not sure that's going to work either, because let's try. So I'm going to just take this do that in there. I'm going to have div with a slot. And then I'll just save everything in that div. I'm not even going to give it a class or anything. Don't need to here. And we'll just say that. What I will probably have to do is give it a width in a minute. Don't need to, that's good. Okay. All right, there's your flex. Okay. That's fine. Uh, and then back in here. I suppose the good thing here is I could set some root level. Stuff, but I could also do that. What they don't have here, like you used to in Sapa, I think you used to always have a global uh, CSS linked up. They've not done that here. Um, I'm 
Or do I want to do that? I could try doing it on here, I guess. Um, We could do that. Or let's just do Sans, eh? It's a little bit better. Okay. Thing is, I do need to get the body. Hmm. So, color wise, yeah, I'm going to steal. Um, so in here, in my, I'm going to change up the colors for Snipper Pixie. Move over here. So in the static, I've got CSS. And I think that's all okay. I'm going to do things like this. So what I'm going to do is I'll just nick that. And then I think I will just create a static uh, CSS folder. And then I've got a common place for grabbing stuff. It doesn't have a CSS option there. Global or main? Global. Okay. So we have a background color, primary text, secondary text, tertiary text, and then highlight a primary color and a secondary color and a tertiary color. And therefore like actionable things and stuff. And then obviously error, danger, warning, success, which I'm not sure we're going to be using, but they're there. Um, and I might steal a little bit more. That's a good point, actually. I do have block quote and things that might be useful.
Mm. No, I'm just going to use things like this. I think I'll leave the others until I need them. Grab both of those, actually. And I'll stick... And I'll get the font thing as well in a minute. So on the body, stick those and then I'll take out from the layout that as well. And I will stick that there. So in theory, we now got a font family of sans serif, background color, that and color is the primary text which is that and all i've got to do now is link it up so that won't do anything it'll still be blind in white until i update this so i guess Hmm, should I be using that? Let's do a quick test before I move on. Uh, that page. Can I do this? that better don't wrap it's not that big hmm no okay so that is purely header stuff I'll have to have a look to see what that means but okay Right, so in here, in theory, I can do that. Oops. Oh. No, is that right? Oh. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Didn't refresh for some reason on the HTML. Okay, so that's good. That's all right. That's okay as a placeholder. Um, and now I need to... I'm going to have to pack up in a sec. Um, I need to get on my day. Um, So let's just put a little bit of waffle in there to say this is under construction. Um, and then uh, we'll get on with it. So um, let's just do this for the moment.
Oops. Uh, I need to grab it. Uh, well, I'll put a link on here, won't I? I'm not sure if that's a good format. Yeah. Okay, we need some better colors for that. We need that. Right, yeah, I don't really need the snap. Um, should I just make this non ordered list? Just check, does that do the same thing if I put it back in? Yep. Okay. And for the moment, get the 
as well. But not for long, hopefully. Let's change that style in a little bit. Uh, what's the th thing called? I can't remember what you called it. Um, No, come on. Okay. List style, that's what I want. So, list. Hmm. Okay, but I can also it's a shorthand, isn't it? So I can add color to it as well, can I? I suppose I don't need to. All right, let's just do list style type. Uh, one place. List style type. Um try that. It's a bit weird, but Uh, and there's a marginal pattern. Position. I think outside is already correct, isn't it? Yeah, don't get that. Just give it a little bit of pattern, I think. Uh, just to give it some space. There we go. Um, mind you. Uh, 
Can I get some color on that? All right, okay, I'll just do that instead. Okay, oops. Um, yeah, we'll just keep padding actually. I need to do the other way around. That's okay. Uh, just give it. There we go. That'll do. Uh, it gives us a base. Pretty basic. Just gets up and running. It should do all the things. It's fine. Right, uh, now let's get it onto. I've got time. No, probably not. Yeah, I should probably finish up just now. And then on my next one, I'll actually just get it hosted somewhere and then we can start iterating on it. So, yeah. Okay. Uh, so, just. Hmm, I should probably save this off first. So, we want that's interesting that that's been hidden. So, we have Doing all the right things. Build is not being saved. Neither is Svelte Kit or Node Modules. Uh, we haven't got it anyway. That's good. Okay. So in theory, I could kill that off now. Uh, 
should be able to do that. We'll update the readme and everything later on. But I think that's okay. So I should be able to do commit directory. And it's not picking up on anything outside has been needed. So a skeleton. We should be good to commit and push because it's not actually building yet. Okay, so it's saved. Cool. Yeah, so uh, next time I will just get up and host it um, and then. Uh, possibly iterate on it a bit because it's rather skimpy and uh, maybe just start getting some information into it um, and then eventually switch over snippetpixie.com so that it's also used in it. Uh, so until next time uh, thanks for watching uh, you take care bye